Capricorn, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your weekly reading. This is uh, September 13th through the 19th. As always, timing can be flexible, and uh, this is a, re a general reading, okay? So it may not resonate with everybody out there. I uh, will be doing an extended reading on the love portion only of this video. I do pick up all the energies, but just know that the extended is just going to be for love, all right? Uh, everything else is in the description box. The only thing that I will mention is that I do give away personal readings each month. So to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, comment. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. You just need to like and comment. So good luck to you if you wish to enter. And I just want to say I hope everyone is well and healthy and safe. So let's pull a card here from the Fairy Oracle and see what energy you have. Okay, so two cards here. You have uh, Nature's Signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open, we only need to open our hearts and minds, okay? So, uh, some of you here, right, maybe needing to take some time to yourself, maybe connecting with nature. If you're really trying to gain some insights, right, or listen to your intuition, nature is a great way to just get in a place where your mind isn't busy, right? And you're not focusing on all the other chatter, I'll say. And you can really connect spiritually, okay? So that's a message out there for someone here. Or it can just be taking time to yourself and doing something that uh, kind of takes you away, right, from everyday life. Now you have here, believe in the magic. Open your eyes and the magic that's all around Oh, I'm sorry. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. So beautiful, beautiful energy. Definitely strong energy here of getting out in nature here. Okay, so maybe you feel more energized, right? Or if you're needing to feel more energized, maybe getting out in nature, right? Um, kind of reconnecting, uh, maybe going to a place where you just uh, feel rejuvenated. So very nice energy there, Capricorn. You know, for me, I am a water sign, so getting in near water really rejuvenates me, okay? And as an earth sign, nature is really good for you as well. So let's pull some cards here from the tarot. See what additional messages there are for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You can check out your other signs and placements. There is a playlist link below. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what you got here. Okay. <clears throat> Showing up in your past energy, Capricorn, you have the Judgment card and you have the King of Pentacles. So this may be an energy here where you're having to make some sort of judgment call, okay, about your stability, your security here. It can be a financial situation. For some of you, it can be also be a relationship, right? 
I feel here too, this could be somebody here from your past, right? Maybe somebody here that has come back around making some type of offer, right? Um, I feel here too, recently there could have been some sort of job offer, right? Or something else being presented here. Now in your current energy, you do have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Four of Wands, okay? So I feel like you could receive some sort of message here, right, um, that brings about a lot of happiness. For some, it can be relationships. Some, for some of you, it could be a job here. It can be somebody in your family. You may, may receive some sort of message that makes you feel very happy. Um, I will say here, too, this also can be a relationship that maybe isn't moving as quickly as you want. We are going to clarify I, uh, and see what the energy is. Now, in your hopes and fears position, you do have the world card and you have the four of pentacles, okay? I feel there's an energy here of, you know, the fear I'm hearing, um, maybe starting over in a job situation here, or maybe you are feeling like, um, I'm, I'm hearing too like a savings, like maybe you're having to rebuild a savings, be more a bit more conservative than you have been in the in the past. It also can be holding on to something here, right? That is definitely shifting or changing, right? Not letting go. So, but it also can be a hope here, right? A hope of a new beginning, a new start, a change. Um, I feel here too the hope of something here that you are very attached to, okay? Some sort of change or shift. Now, in your challenge position, you do have the Justice card and you have the Two of Cups, okay? So I feel with this energy here, you may be feeling challenged in a relationship with someone here. I do feel there's an energy of something moving um, maybe a bit slower than you want here, okay? Um, there also could have been some sort of message here you could have received from someone here um, that may make you feel like things are not in balance, okay? Because this is showing up in your challenge. We're going to clarify that one. In the energy around you that you don't see it coming, you do have the Seven of Pentacles and you have the Knight of Swords. So... I feel there could be an energy here of reflection here, um, really taking note of the time and energy you've put in this situation. Whether this has to do with the financial situation, it feels more like a relationship with a family member, a friend, or even a love here. Now, it also can have to do with your finances because I am picking up both energies here as well. There's an energy here, you know, maybe feeling like, you know, you just want to get things moving in a situation. As I said here, I do get the energy that things are moving slow, okay? Uh, maybe you're feeling here a little bit, um, maybe you're wanting to <laughs> run from a situation, right? But this also can be energy coming towards you, okay? Definitely an energy of self-reflection. I do want to say, though, at the bottom of the deck here, you do have the Seven of Swords, okay? This can be an energy of somebody here maybe not having the best intentions or somebody here being a bit sneaky or hiding something here, okay? Um, but it also can be an energy here of strategy, but in this deck, it does not look like strategy, right? It looks like here, maybe somebody here is trying to get away with something, somebody around you, okay? Now, um, in your outcome position, you do have the Magician and you have the King of Cups. <clears throat> so there's an energy here, I feel, of maybe making things happen in your situation, a new beginning here, Um manifesting a new beginning here. You have the King of Cups, so there is an energy here of um, emotion, okay? I want to clarify that one too before we go any farther. So let's uh, clarify some of these cards and see what's going on here. <clears throat> 
So in your current energy, let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Knight of Cups here, please? Why is the Knight of Cups here, please? You know, I'm really getting here. Some of you may be questioning the stability um, of a connection or a relationship here. Some of you, you know, you may be questioning. It can't even be a work situation I'm getting, okay? A work situation, a job situation. At the bottom of the deck here, you have the Hermit. You've got strong Virgo energy. <clears throat> so clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Four of Cups and you have the Six of Wands. Yeah, whatever you're dealing with in your situation, it feels like an energy that maybe you're feeling like you're not getting the attention or the recognition or that offer that you deserve right maybe things are moving very slowly and this can be an energy where if it's you know a job situation it can be affecting your family it can be affecting your happiness here for others if it's a relationship you know same thing here okay i feel you know, there could be an energy here where you're not feeling a lot of attention from somebody here. It could be a family member, a friend, um, and like I said here, uh, a relationship here. And I feel with this um, hermit card, it's making you feel definitely very conflicted here, right? I feel there's some sort of in, uh, internal struggle that is going on, and I feel like it's really making you think, okay? <clears throat> And, you know, because of this situation, like I said, in your fears here, I feel like there is some sort of fear of making some sort of change in your life based on how you're feeling about this situation. Now, let's see here. Why is the, um, the Justice card and the Two of Cups here? Okay, so you have the Page of Cups. And you have the Magician. Interesting. So I feel like you, there is an energy here of you not feeling um, so content in, a, in your situation. Like I said, whether this has to do with work or love. You have the bottom of the deck here. You have the Nine of Wands. There's something here where I feel like you're tired of waiting um, for a situation. Okay. And or it can be that you just feel like you've gone through a lot of challenges. Right. Maybe feeling exhausted in your situation. I do see here the Page of Cups and the Magician card here. Okay, this is a challenge. There could be some sort of new offer that is being presented to you that's going to bring some sort of new beginning. Now, for some of you, this could be love. I'm feeling an energy. You could be with somebody here in a relationship or you know, dating someone here, but then there's this energy that somebody may start flirting with you that could present some sort of new beginning which i do see the magician here in the outcome position <clears throat> if this is not love for you there's definitely some sort of decision here for some of you this could be some sort of partnership okay um in a business here if things you know you're not feeling happy in a situation things aren't progressing as quickly as you want here you're really questioning your stability some of you may even be thinking about partnering up with someone when it comes to a business right that's not going to be for all of you let's uh, clarify this knight of swords okay Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Knight of Swords here, please? You have the Eight of Pentacles. The Tower. And the Three of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here, you have the Queen of Wands. All right. I feel like this is a relationship here, Capricorn. I potentially feel like there, you know, like I said, there could be somebody else here flirting from you or flirting with you, right? Or vice versa here. There feels like there's an energy of possibly a third party situation. And the reason I say that is you have the Eight of Pentacles, the Tower, and you have the Three of Cups. I get this energy that you're reflecting on your situation. And I feel like for some of you, 
there's something here with the tower that may happen okay and i feel like it's something that you're not expecting right and i do feel there could be a third person that is interfering in this connection here whether it's somebody flirting with you or vice versa here okay there's definitely an energy of you know maybe wanting to move on from a situation okay for your own happiness right running from a situation here or getting some sort of communication here that you weren't expecting interesting this could be somebody that you work with as well i'm just going to say um but I feel like you are taking some time to really reflect it. Definitely get some sort of judgment call here you're trying to make, right? Whether it's a relationship or if it has to do with a work situation, okay? And I feel there could be multiple people involved in your situation. You do have the Queen of Wands. So this is a very independent, you know, um, go-getter energy. So I feel like this is something here where you're exploring your options some of you may even be deciding to be single and available right because this new person is uh, flirting with you i'm getting that energy for others i feel this is about you taking some sort of action towards your possibilities because in your current energy i feel this energy that there is some sort of um energy here you know of being An energy of not feeling recognized or not getting the attention that you deserve type of energy. Why is the King of Cups? Now we're looking at your possible outcome. We have the Magician and the King of Cups here. Why is the King of Cups here? You have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and bottom of the deck here you have the Queen of Cups. You've got water uh, energy here as well okay let's see here two of wands queen of pentacles yeah i feel there's an energy here there there's maybe an energy here that you're wanting to take some sort of action because you're not feeling exactly emotionally satisfied with a situation right either you're not getting the recognition that you deserve in the workplace or you're not getting uh, the attention that you deserve from somebody i feel here in your life you have the two of wands the queen of pentacles definitely this is your energy here capricorn two of wands and the six of swords i feel like you're trying to make a decision whether to move on uh, from this situation for some of you this could actually be making some sort of home move right i feel here too it can even be uh, maybe you're trying to decide here whether to move towards family maybe you just don't feel like you get as much attention from your family that you did in the past that's not going to be for all of you for others i feel you know this is definitely something that's very heavy on your shoulders right and um you know it started off in your recent past with a judgment call so this is something i feel that's been on your mind for a little bit of time and i feel you know making this decision here creating this new beginning for yourself i feel um is what's going to get you to a place here with the six of swords where you can feel at peace again right because i do get this energy too in your challenge position there's an energy here of maybe not feeling balanced or not feeling treated right in a situation okay um, again here you have the queen of cups right and you have the queen of wands like i said there could be uh, a third party situation in going on here too okay and that's not going to be everybody's story so uh capricorn i'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended um for love i'm going to look at what this person is thinking or feeling about you their upcoming actions love messages and guidance and then um we'll look at the possibility here too i feel like there could be some sort of new love here as well so i hope to see you in the extended capricorn i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.